Please welcome Catherine Waterston. No, man, same thing. Like, um, Brando used to do a thing like that. I wear sweaters like this so people will rub me. <laughs> you heard it, heard, heard it here first, folks. I rub you. Wow. Conceivable, but very cool. Yeah, that's really complicated. I'll do that thing of taking a flannel and putting it under really hot water. And that's a washcloth. <laughs> For my translator. I'd like to do something to your face right now, if oh, you wouldn't mind. I thought you'd never ask. Um, yep, you kind of. Oh, I got it with your my body. shoulder. I'm, I'm just trying to get yeah some of it up into my skirt. Wow, that's a There we go. There we go. I did that Harry Potter uh, ride yesterday. Yeah. Oh, Have you done it? Where can you go to? How was it? Are you excited? I, I yeah, am I'm still not scared. Scared. a little bit. Really? Yes. So no, no yeah. immediately <laughs> not excited. Did Nagini find him as a child and give him his evil ideas? Eddie, you need to show me how to uh, hold it, but I will tell you, we gave it to Daniel Radcliffe recently. Right. To hold. Hi, I'm Eddie Redmayne. And I'm Catherine Waterston. If you wanna fly away with me, I just spoke to my wife and all my daughter Iris is nine, uh, nine and a half. Well, <laughs> two and a half. Denial uh, is a power. <laughs> Let's start with the nifflers, because I cannot even. He's just in London and she saw that advertising film with a bus went by. She went, Dada. <laughs> so oh, I was like, cool. oh, she's gonna have to be in therapy for years. <laughs> Trying to sort of he was on a bus, he came, he yeah. went. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want Dumbledore to die. Hot no, Dumbledore? Hot Dumbledore. No, no, we don't want to see him. No. Come on. They're also both like way too short for me. For real. If Mad Eye Moody comes out in Crimes of Grindelwald, the theory that Grindelwald's right eye will be Moody's artificial one is gonna be rock solid. <laughs> It's like, we are not making dinner anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. There are like dark wizards to me. Uh, yeah, there's no type of struggle. <laughs> but I, I, um, yeah, I kind of... Gently. Gently. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Precious cargo. I just play. LMG, love this avocado toast. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to snog that thing. But I mean, it just seems like the obvious. I don't want to marry that guy. And so, and it was actually kind of cool because I like having bruises to show off how tough I am. So I feel yeah. like Anthony Lane said something really funny about my haircut in Alien, which was decidedly terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I thought it was, I thought, you know, I thought it was warranted and really amusing. I think he said I looked like a missing member of the of the band The Monkees. <laughs> and I was like, that's actually true. Good point. Although some days I kind of wish that I could just hide behind something like that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I saw Alien really young and I feel like it shaped me, maybe in a negative way, but... I'm having a very lesbianic day today because, Mary... It's not your wand, that's yeah. why. I mean, there's only one man who knows how to use that thing. How in I mean, the... So hard. <laughs> inappropriate when you talk about <laughs> wands! Like, this is like one of those moments where I wish I could come up with some fake news on the spot. And I did a guest spot on the show, you and then never everybody was so blown away that they made me a lead regular, and the rest is history, but in actual fact, I couldn't even get a call back on that show. I auditioned multiple times. Are you serious? It's a perfect size. Thank you. <laughs> Mine's bigger, <laughs> but I don't know if that really. He doesn't like to exercise. This man. I had a babysitter. I, I was a, I'm tall now, and I was tall as a child, and she was she was very short, and she had huge breasts. And when I was like in this second gonna, grade, well, I think. when I was in second grade, like up until second grade, my I just like I would just hug her and like rest my head <laughs> in her bosom, and that's like my fondest memory of my babysitter. That's really intimate. <laughs> you must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. <laughs> I can't pay the rent. I'll oh, <laughs> pay the rent. Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be a gentleman. Sorry. I'll pay the rent. Yeah. My hero. Curses foiled again. <laughs> that's the truth. You shared a lot. Man. <laughs> 
I know, but it was just amazing. It was just like, it was such a good fit. It was like a pillow, you know? And Mother Earth. I wasn't used to that in my family, so it was nice. It was a nice change. And we got to the scene, and I think probably because I spent most of the scene going, oh, I'm gonna get my wand! <laughs> I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Look at all the work I've done! <laughs> What do, you, what do you think, Sam? Any good? <laughs> Sam Watterson, everybody! He's a very talented performer. And he's really good at seeing the Five dollars. I think it was probably just so overwhelming, you know? It's like, you don't want to, I don't know make Chris Hemsworth feel bad about yeah, himself I didn't or want, something. Yeah, I didn't and, want to you know, threaten Hemsworth. So it was like, Hemsworth. guys, 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 you know. I was like, Thor? Don't want to make him feel bad about Newt doesn't yeah. want to threaten Thor. Yeah, exactly. So, and I did babysit. I did babysit. I don't think I was a very good babysitter. But you didn't have didn't affairs with the dads, did you? Let's no. find because <laughs> that's what the movie's about. You no, did a I'm movie just about it. No, no, I'm just I'm doing my job. I should just leave. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Everybody, Catherine Watson. <laughs> <laughs>